leaves. They're small circuits that uh, got a, a little bifilia coil on it that's hooked up to a resistor and a transistor and a 3 volt LED. Now, uh, the first one I made, I made out of a, uh, a coil that I found on a circuit board. So I just reutilise that one. And then uh, on the second one, I've got a, a small bead of ferrite and just kept on wrapping wire away and did until it was full. Right now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and uh, see if we can power these now using my uh, my water batteries but with the lemon on them. Well I'll try them with water first and then with the lemon on. I'll do that now. Just put a, a little bit of lemon on one of the uh, batteries that used to have lemon on it and hooked it up to the, uh, the one where I wrapped the little bead myself and uh, that's showing up quite bright I think so that's quite good uh, let's try it with the other one in the one with the uh, bifilia coil that I found on a PC board it's not lighting up with the, uh, the lemon battery but uh, if you take this off and hook it up directly To the drawer cell, if I can get my fingers around. It does come on quite nicely and very brightly for 1.5 volts. So uh, it may be an amps thing. I'm going to try uh, another set of them in parallel. See how we get on. So, uh, Three cells and two sets of them in parallel now, and we've got that with the one that's, uh, that's working, which is coming up really nice and bright. And the other one just doesn't seem to come on at all unless it's on a uh, Duracell battery. So let's try this in. Dish. And dish. So we get nothing out of that. And try it the other way around. And again, I'm going to the lights out. Just getting the shine back off the camera there. But uh, this other one seems to work very well. well that's great then. Thanks for watching.